Laurel Hammond, and I'm the leader of the Crochet Circle Group here at the Spanish Fork City Library. Um, so today we are having our Facebook Live class. Uh, if you are unable to come to our twice a month meetings in person, we do have these Facebook Live uh, classes for the first week of each month. Um, you can view it live on our Facebook page, or you can view it afterward as well. The, the video is saved, and um, you can check it out anytime. Um, and then, uh, and then we still have our group meetings in person. So we'd love to see you here, and, but if not, we, we hope you can join us online as well. Um, today, our craft, since it's February, we're doing a crocheted heart garland. So we're doing all these fun little crocheted hearts, and then we'll be able to string them onto a garland and use them as decoration. So it's pretty easy. Um, you can just use plain old acrylic yarn. Uh, I just got a bunch of red heart yarn from Walmart. Um, the size of hook we're using today is I, or 5.5 millimeters, I believe. It's a good good size hook there, makes a nice big thick stitch. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and make our slip knot and cast onto our hook. And we're going to chain four to start. This heart's going to be done kind of in rounds. Um, even though it's not a perfectly round shape, we're going to be doing it in the rounds, but with using different sizes of stitches to make the changes in sizes. So we do chain four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do something called a treble crochet or a triple crochet, depending on where you're reading this. Um, we've done single crochets and we've done double crochets. The triple crochet is just an extra, an extra step. You know, with a double crochet, you yarn over before you go uh, and start making your stitch. With a treble or triple crochet, you yarn over twice. So after you yarn over twice onto that hook, and then we're going to go back and start stitching into our very first chain. That's going to be kind of that, that round that we're going to make. So you put your hook through, yarn over again, and pull it, pull that one loop through. So you should have four loops on your hook now. You're going to yarn over and pull through two. So now you have three. Yarn over and pull through two loops again. And then yarn over and pull through those two loops again. So that's our triple crochet. It's rather tall compared to all the other stitches we do. We're going to do three of those, all into that same first chain that we started with. So you yarn over twice, you yarn over, pull through, and then just keep going through two loops at a time until you finish off that stitch. So that's our second one. Let's go in and do the third. Okay, so now we kind of see the top, that's our little top of our heart forming here. Now we're going to decrease a little bit. We're going to do double crochets. So we're going to do three double crochets. So you yarn over once, and then just do the same thing. Yarn over and pull through. And instead of having four loops on your hook, you'll only have three. And then you just yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And that's your double crochet. And then you're going to do two more of those. Okay, so we see we've got kind of half a heart forming here. But now we're going to make the pointed bottom of the heart. So what we're going to do now is just do a chain one. That's going to give us a little bit of a gap between this and the next stitch. And now we're going to do another triple crochet or treble crochet. And this is kind of the backbone of the bottom of our heart. And we're going to chain one again. It's very symmetrical, this heart. And now we're going to do the reverse of everything we did. We're going to do three double crochets and then three triple crochets all the way around. Always into that first chain that we first started with. So that's double crochet one, two, And then start doing the triple crochets. Yarn over twice and then go through.
lost count there for a second. <laughs> okay, so almost got the whole second half of the heart there. Now what I need to do is chain three. I gotta make the curve here. And then I'm gonna do a slip stitch down into that, that first chain again. So slip stitch, you just put your hook through, pull the yarn through all the way through. You don't have to create any more loops at all. You just pull it all the way through. So now you see that little heart is coming together. That's just the first round though. We gotta make it bigger so it matches the, the completed ones. So our next round, we're gonna chain three to start. So now I'm gonna find the top of the first triple crochet from the previous round, and I'm gonna start crocheting into that. Just doing single stitch in this one. First I'm gonna do a single stitch, single crochet. Then I'm gonna do a half double crochet in the same stitch that I just did stitches. So half double crochet, you yarn over, put your hook through, yarn over and pull it through that first loop that was on your hook, and then go through finish it off. Okay, so now I'm going to do three half double crochets in the next stitch. Two. Oops. Three. I learned a fun trick this weekend about how to roll a, a ball of yarn so that you're pulling, you're pulling your yarn from the center of it instead of having your ball roll all over the place. <laughs> So that was a fun trick. I'll have to show you guys how to do that sometime. Um, makes it a little bit easier to keep track of things. I need to do that. That was three. Okay. So after my three half double crochets, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. So we're just kind of working our way around. Okay. Now it's just going to be single crochets for the next four stitches. So they added this row. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Four. That puts me in that chain space there. Okay. So that ended me in that little chain one from the previous row. Now we're going to be doing um, into the triple crochet. So what I'll do is I'll do a single crochet here chain two to give myself a little bit of extra leeway to move around this corner here. And then single crochet into that, that next stitch. All right. So that kind of gives me the bottom of the heart there. So now I'm gonna single crochet into the next four stitches and then just do the reverse of what I did before. Four. So next is two half double crochets in the next stitch. So yarn over. In the same stitch there. Single half double crochet. Then do three in the next one. Three half double crochets in the next stitch. half double and a single crochet in the last one. Oops, it's a little twisty there. That one buckled a little tight. Sometimes you gotta work with that. There we go. So that's the half double crochet and then the single to end that round. Then, like the previous row, I'm going to do another chain three and then slip stitch back into that beginning chain. And that kind of brings the curve down and make it, makes it look nice and, and heart-shaped. So that's the end of the second round. It's really coming together. We're going to do one more round just to finish it all off. So again, chain three to start to get you up to the height you need. 
Okay, so then single crochets. One single crochet in the first one. Oops, I got a little pin open. There we go. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the next one. And then two in the next one. Just one, two, one, two. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. That's going to take us all the way down to the, the point at the bottom. skip the next stitch there and then we're going to change uh, let's go into this uh, chain here the chain space from the previous round so we're going to do a single crochet into that chain space chain three this is going to kind of make the very point at the very bottom of the heart and then single crochet back in that chain space again then we skip the next stitch and then do single crochets in the next seven. do two one two one the reverse of what we did before two single crochets and then one single crochet and then two and then one two and then one and then one more time chain three and then slip stitch into that beginning circle again there is a completed heart. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn needle or tapestry needle, however they want to call it, um, thread that with my tail end of the yarn here, and then just kind of weave it through the finished work so that it doesn't unravel. Just kind of go through the back stitches here. Change direction back the other way skip a skip a loop so kind of help lock everything in place and then cut it and the little end kind of vanishes into the into the finished work and then do that again for the first one you don't cut the actual work itself. Okay, so pop that in there. Now, for the actual garland, I'm going to do this a shorter version of what the actual pattern calls for. It says to chain 45, but I'm only going to do like about 10 or something just so you can see how this works. Okay, so then what you'll do, you'll take your heart, 
and just do a single crochet into the top of your hook here. And then chain six more. Single crochet into this top bump over here. I did a little lower than I probably should have. But... And then you continue on. I mean, you just single crochets into the tops of your hearts here and then make a nice evenly spaced garland that you can hang up in your house for Valentine's Day. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple activity. We hope you've enjoyed seeing it and uh, we hope we can see you at our future, our future crochet circle meetings. Have a good evening.